Well, it's nine o'clock. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, this Thursday, the 3rd of December, 2020. My name is Pam DeFelice, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. To download the service leaflet for this morning service, go to goodshepvirtual.org. Click on prayer and study and look for today's date. This service will also be available beginning at 10 a.m. on Good Shepherd's YouTube channel. So if you have friends who would like to experience morning prayer at Good Shepherd, just have them go to youtube.com and search on Good Shepherd Tequesta. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves, and we truly repent. Um, we are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. Let us say the Jubilate in unison. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. Today we say Psalm 18, verses 1 to 20. Let us say it together. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven, my God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. 
The cords of hell entangled me and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were uncovered and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of the great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place he rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson is from Isaiah chapter 2. For the Lord of hosts has a day against all that is proud and lofty, against all that is lifted up and high, against all the cedars of Lebanon, lofty and lifted up, and against all the oaks of Bashan, against all the high mountains, and against all the lofty hills, against every high tower, and against every fortified wall, against all the ships of Tarshish and against all the beautiful craft. The haughtiness of people shall be humbled and the pride of everyone shall be brought low and the Lord alone will be exalted on that day. The idols shall utterly pass away. Enter the caves of the rocks and the holes of the ground from the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty when he rises to terrify the earth. On that day, people will throw away to the moles and to the bats, their idols of silver and their idols of gold, which they made for themselves to worship, to enter the caverns of the rocks and the clefts of the crags from the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty when he rises to terrify the earth. Turn away from mortals who have only breath in their nostrils, for of what account are they? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together we will say the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. 
the tiniest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mountains, mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is from the Gospel of Luke. Some sadness sed oh, seduces, some seduces those who say there is no resurrection came to Ju Jesus and asked him, Sadducees? Sadducees, those who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no children, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, the first married and died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And so in the same way, all seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, those who belong to this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy of a place in that age and in the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. Indeed, they cannot die anymore because they are like angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. And the fact that the dead are raised Moses himself showed in the story about the bush where he speaks of the Lord as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For he, for to him, all of them are alive. Then some of the scribes answered, teacher, you have spoken well for they no longer dared to ask him another question. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together, we will say glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let's 
Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The Collect of the Day, the first Sunday of Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty, to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Collect for the Renewal of Life. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night, and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when the night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for protection. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, and dispose of the way of your servants towards the attainment of everlasting salvation, that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by your gracious and ready help. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Sheffield, England, the Right Reverend Pete Wilcox, B. 
Bishop. The Diocese of Easton Episcopal, the Right Reverend Santosh Marais Bishop, and the Diocese of Eastern Zambia, Central Africa, the Right Reverend William Macambo Bishop. We also pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and our companion diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of Toliar, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Todd McGregor, Bishop. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them Remembering today, especially Becky and family, Patricia, Priscilla, Michael, Steve, Patrick, Deanna, Joey, Julia, Bob, John, Darcy, Ashley, Roland and Josh, Mindy, Gary, Eric, Marilyn, Bernie, Jan, Steve, Peter, Chris, Alyssa, Jim and Jerry, Debbie, Jay and family, and Karen. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, Hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition intercession and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Good morning, Joan May. Good morning, Kathy. You know, I'm, I'm sorry there's no sound on Facebook this morning. Terry, Terry says no sound. Does that mean no sound on June on Zoom either, Terry? Because there was sound earlier. I'm terribly sorry. So let us pray for all of all of the people suffering from our pandemic. Everybody losing their patience of waiting it out. Let us all all be patient a little bit longer. And pray that the that the vaccines that have been developed will help us recover and defend us from further COVID. And please that the numbers start to go down all over the world. Please protect all of our children, all of our families, all of our aides and workers Please, God, take everyone in your care. Oh. Pray for all who received the first newly approved COVID vaccine in Britain. Pray that the vaccine will be as safe and effective as the studies show. Yes, Ian. I, I was discussing that with my sister. I'm worried that it's been so fast 
and there are so many vaccines out now. How do you know which one will be all right to use? We pray for all, everyone in Great Britain that are taking that vaccine. Yes, the first to receive it will be the most vulnerable. Oh, the Lord have mercy on us all. Oh, we can only trust and have faith, can't we? In the end, we have to give it all to the Lord. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. All you that did not have sound, please remember the service will be available on YouTube at 9.45 this morning. Just go to youtube.com and look for Good Shep Tequesta, and the whole service will be there. Thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Have a great day.